What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Action Fishing and Fab. My name's Curtis and this is my channel. Well, uh, today we're going to be building the bulkheads for the rear deck and the front deck. I put this piece of kusa on here already to use that just kind of as a straight edge. And I got the uh, that piece of aluminum in the center there to kind of give the, the floor a little bit of an arc. I got some cardboard. I think it's nice about uh, having a kid and getting all this crazy stuff that we're getting strollers beds all that stuff we uh, got plenty of cardboard to do some templating and uh, that's what I got it from so I'm gonna use some cardboard I'm gonna template out my bulkhead where I want it and uh, do the same for the front deck and then get it cut uh, get the template transferred on into the divina cell and get that all cut out so let's get after it All right, I don't know how much I got of that. I think I only fil filmed a couple of them, but uh, I got all these bulkheads all cut out, all four of them. Um, got them marked out where they're gonna go, that, that Sharpie line there. I'm gonna wipe these spots down with acetone, and then I'll get that Super Bond uh, epoxy back out again, because I really like that stuff, and it's super smooth and easy to work with, and I'm not in a rush to get these things glassed up or nothing. But uh, I'm gonna take them and just, whoop, just bond them right into the spots like that do all four of them and uh probably i probably have enough left over to do all the fillets when i get mixed up do all my fillets at the same time and then uh, get these things bonded into the boat we're working on her
There we got it. I got those four uh, bulkheads bonded in. Um, I was able to do all my fillets and everything. Uh, it came out really nice. I just used the popsicle stick to lay the fillets in. Um, next, after this cures, I'm going to let it cure overnight for 24 hours. Because once again, I used epoxy, so it's a little bit longer of a curing time. Um, but after that, I'm going to come back in cut 1708 out 1708 out for all the sides and everything and i get the 1708 laid up and pretty much clean do a little bit of sanding a little bit of cleaning and it'll be done but those are the bulkheads all right my phone is updating so i didn't really do like a film to talk about things so uh well, I did, um, I sanded the front of this, these bulkheads, I sanded them real good, um, cause when I cut them, obviously it was just a block 90, uh, 90 degree edge. Um, so I went through with the 60 grit sandpaper and, uh, just kind of rounded the whole thing. It's 5 eighths of Venicel, but, uh, I sanded it on the front end, so whatever that radius would be now, it's like perfect one, you know, all the way around radius. And then, uh... I started cutting on my 1708, getting that all cut out. Um, you know, like I said in the Johnson Skip Build, don't throw any of your templates away because I use all my templates to uh, cut my 1708 out. So let's keep on cutting this stuff out and then we'll get her glassed up. All right, here we go. I got all that uh, 1708 cut out and ready to go. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take do these one at a time. I'm gonna take one, uh, take the 1708, put it up here, wet it out real good, wet out the divina cell, and then uh, put the 1708 in place. Then I'm gonna wet out, I got this um, 10 ounce chop, which is super, super thin, super, super malleable. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to wrap around the end. But before I do that, I'm going to do a layer of chop strand. Hopefully, hopefully the chop strand. I got that two ounce chop strand and I shredded it to make it like, I don't know, three quarter ounce chop strand. Um, you just pull it apart. Like when they make the chop strand, they must just glue it all together and layer, 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 layer until it gets whatever ounce that you want. Um, but yeah, I just peel the, peel the two ounce out and, you know, get her down to uh, three quarter ounce. Hopefully that'll be thin enough to where I can use that to um, form around the uh, the divina cell. Then after I do that, that's when I'm going to lay in that, that 10 ounce chop strand. And then around this edge right here, I'm going to do the 2 ounce chop strand all the way around that edge just to help fair it out a little bit. I'm definitely, uh, this is the way I've seen Harry Spear do it in his YouTube videos. And uh, I really liked it, so that's what I'm going with. 
I'm going to do the same thing. So here we go. All right, there we have it. I only filmed me doing one, and I filmed myself doing the first one. <clears throat> I should have filmed myself on another one because that was the first time ever really doing the, uh, using that, really just trying to get that chopped strand matting to wrap around a corner, and then using that 10 ounce uh, chopped strand. And uh, definitely as I used it, the better I got. So, um, but yeah, I got all those cleaned up. The next thing I'm gonna do, which probably just be off camera, is I'm just gonna trim these to get them to where my deck's gonna ride. Um, but next, it's, you know, before I do that, because that's not, I'm not worried about that, I'm gonna let these things cure, but uh, I'm gonna wrap the video up right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up right here, and uh, we're gonna start on the live wall next. So uh, I already have, well, I'll just show you for the next video. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode. This was a quick one, I didn't film as much as I usually do. But uh, it was super repetitive, so it was the same thing over and over and over again. So, yeah, well, thank you guys again. Subscribe. Enjoy your week. <laughs> Have a wonderful week, everybody.